Hey team, in this video, we will be talking about the fundamentals moving the market for gold from 14 till 18 December. First, talking about the bearish fundamentals, what would drive the market for the gold downwards? Would be the gold ended up a roller coaster ride week higher out a weekly gain as talk on the US Congress for the COVID-19 fiscal stimulus packages hang in the balance. We can see stimulus packages which were promised by the president of both uh, of the elected president of Republican and the Democrats have been not reached to a negotiation negotiation furthermore the gold turned volatile as the agreement for the COVID-19 stimulus packages remained outreached on Friday negotiation the Republican in the Senate led by majority leader and aligned to outgoing President Donald Trump continue to frustratedly attempt by the Democrats in the House of Representatives to add state and local aid to the package. On the on their part, the Democrat led by House Speaker Nancy Pelson and backing President-elect Joe Biden are against a Republican effort to add liability protection for institutions under pandemic. This week was supposed to deliver a breakthrough in the negotiation and not have talked, just pushed into the next week. The gold is on firm footing despite the dollar rebound. Congress originally passed on March the COVID-19 aid relief and economic securities cares act dispensing roughly some around 3 trillions 3 trillions 3 trillions as a paycheck protection for the workers loans and grants for the businesses other and the other personal aid for qualifying citizens and residents in the past few months however democrats in congress has been locked in a bitter debate with republican in the silent Senate on a successive relief plan for the CARE Act. The, dis the despite has basically over the size of the next stimulus packages. Thus, what we are expecting for the market for the gold B bearish is due to the fact that the, the, the Congress and the Republican were agreed to find in conclusion on previous Friday about the stimulus packages. However, the one party which are Democrats, however, the one party which are Republicans are, uh, are, arguing, are arguing to increase the aids. However, the Democrats led by Joe Biden are expect or are forcing to decrease or to remain the uh, to remain the same amount of aid which were promised not to increase it thus the debate and negotiate the debate between two parties the democrat and the republican continued and no conclusion is achieved thus the debate is now shifted on to the next week thus a decrease in stimulus packages Or our delay in our decrease or our delay in the stimulus packages would lead to a delay in the depreciation the depreciation of dollar just until any stimulus packages or any conclusion on the stimulus packages isn't derived. Thus, we can expect that the gold prices could fall. This is the one factor due to which we are expecting a bearish momentum. Now, coming on to the another factor due to which we are expecting the bearish momentum 
is due to that the COVID-19 vaccine COVID-19 vaccine would be available from next week in the US and the elderly and the healthcare workers would be targeted in the first round of the vaccine thus due to the availability of the vaccine the uncertainty would decrease in the market uncertainty would decrease in the market and the risk on or the economy would the economy would return to its normal pace due to which we can see that the that the gold who is hedged against the uncertainty due to the decrease in the uncertainty the prices for the gold would also face a sell off thus due to this two fundamental reasons i am expecting a bearish momentum entering in the market for the gold which are stimulus packages no negotiation reached on stimulus packages and the vaccine availability from the next week now coming on to the bullish fundamentals what can drive the prices for the gold for 14 till 18 december up uh, in a bullish momentum is due to any stimulus packages stimulus packages conclusion is reached or any other monetary policy expansion could boost uh, would typically fuel the inflation will fuel the inflation which would be act as a catalyst in boosting the prices for the gold which would serve as an hedge which would serve as an hedge furthermore we furthermore in a long term do keep in mind i am not talking about one week i am talking about on an long term of some around 2 months till 3 months however in a long term term perspective we are bullish however and to the previous week are more bearish on the gold due to the fundamentals which would be acting recently however now the fundamentals which i am explaining would act on the gold however on a longer term perspective not in a range of one week as we are more bullish on the gold on a longer term perspective is that the vaccines are coming we have saved all those the although the arriving vaccines are great for the humanity humanity they are bad for the prices for the gold in november p fizzle and biotech announced that their mrn based vaccine candidate had demonstrated an effective efficiency rate of 90% but there is always a but you see there are some problems related to biotech vaccine first we know first we first all we know come came from the press release but the company didn't provide any data for the review thus it was just claimed and no proof or the data was provided secondly the efficiency rate announced by the company pertained only to those 7 days after the second dose was taken we still we still do not know how effective the vaccine is in the longer term and how immunity last third thirdly we still do not know the efficiency of the vaccine amongst the elderly people with underlying conditions the effective people by the covid 19 fourth the vaccine is based on mra 
technology and such vaccines were never approved for the human use there is always a first time but new technologies give always give birth to some concerns which could ultimately reduce the public preference to get vaccine another problem is that the vaccine requires two doses that is taken 21 days apart it delays the moment of the immunization and against reduce the motivation to take the vaccine furthermore the biggest obstacle of availability of the vaccine in the rural area is the temperature the vaccine must be must be stored at a temperature of some around minus 70 degrees celsius or minus 94 fahrenheit here the problem is the transportation and distribution many hospitals to say nothing of rural physicians and pharmaceuticals and healthcare system in developed country do not have adequate freezers to store the vaccine last but not the least the scientists develop the best possible vaccine it remains useless until the people accept it accept the vaccine furthermore in the meanwhile the us is about to enter in the covid hell one of biden biden advises on the pandemic said indeed the country is nearing 11 million reported covid-19 cases and the corona virus has killed more than 2 lakh 40000 americans but the worst can still be lie ahead for the us as one can see in the pandemic curve is clearly exponential and the daily number of new cases has stretched to lakh yep you read it correctly about the 2 lakh people are infected about 2 lakh people Unfected each day. Thus, all these factors would trigger a bearish, uh, would trigger a bullish momentum into the market for the gold. However, do keep in mind, I am not talking about these. All factors would lead to the prices for the gold to be bullish for the next week. However, and in course of two to three weeks or a month, would drive the prices for the gold up. rather than going bullish thus for the coming week and analyzing the fundamentals we are more bearish from a technical and fundamental perspective both if you like the video do like share and comment below if you are new to the channel so do consider subscribing thanks for watching